Yeah. <laughs> what up? The Mercedes needs some TLC. It needs God right now. You're not gonna believe what happened to me. You're not gonna believe what happened to the Mercedes. Hey guys, what's up? We're here doing a short video. Um, I can't even believe this shit happened to me. But, um, I have no words. Real quick, I was driving home last night. It was raining out. It was really dark around the road where I was driving at. And um, I hit a huge pothole. Big, big, big. To the point where my uh, front tire on my driver's side popped. I'm going to show you guys a little uh, video of that right now. How big the hole is. It just literally popped out. Back tire hit the same hole. Not as hard, so I got a bubble in that tire. And I'm going to show you that as well. And then on top of everything, the headrest on both seats deployed. So if you can see here, everything deployed out. <clears throat> so this feature is only supposed to happen uh, in case of an accident where if the car is hit from the back, this whole headrest pops out to uh, stop you from getting that you know that deep lash when uh, you get hit it's gonna stop your head from you know tilting back and causing more neck injuries that thing is supposed to stop it and I'm just like I'm so out of words I can't believe this both happened so last night I'm, I'm driving by and um, not even last night this morning when I woke up because I even noticed last night it was super dark um, I look over to the right and I saw the passenger side already had it um, was out and I'm like, oh shit. Um, and then when I get out of work a little while ago, I noticed that my side is just like that as well. So this video is just to show you guys exactly how to put it in. I did a little research already. Um, so the car needs to be off. Uh, keys out. And we're not even going to go in here and take this apart because usually, for example, some people do take the whole headrest out of here. In order to do that, you need to uh, unclip this whole back part of the seat and then um, take apart the wires that are together. And in order to do that, the car must be off. If not, if not then uh, you'll get that, uh, that, um, that sensor reader on the front dash. So this is the bump. This is the bubble that I got pretty big bubble as you can see right there um, I'm actually gonna ride around with it it's not that bad I could I could rock out with it for a while so I'm not too concerned about that now this is where the damage went that was from one pothole that right there so now I gotta go out uh, later on tonight I gotta get a new tire Hopefully, from the looks of it out here, the rim does not look damaged. So I'm really hoping that is not, because if it is, then I gotta go out and buy another rim too, which I don't want to, because these things are pretty pricey. So um, we're gonna go back here. We're gonna try to install this and show you guys how how to do this. So in case that this is ever happening to you, if you're driving by somewhere and the same thing happens to you, and you want to save money because obviously if you go to the dealership, they're going to charge an arm and a leg just to put this back and when all you got to do is do it yourself. So when doing this, you got to make sure that this little tab right here is still in place. Um, it's not uh, leaning over to this side, it's up on that side, it needs to be right in the middle like that is. Um, you're going to see some little clips right here as well. That should be right there. That should not be locked. If that's locked, then that's an issue, and that's when we got to take apart the back part of the seat, and that's the only way to uh, uh, get these little hooks unlatched. So this is going to be real simple, and it's going to save us, I said us, it's going to save us a lot of money, because Mercedes loves to charge people an arm and a leg for any little thing, and uh... We don't want to do that. We want to save money. We want to be smart. We want to do things ourselves. So basically, what we're going to do is that we got to push this this part of the seat down and in at the same time in order for the mechanism to lock in. Um, once that happens, it'll click in and we'll be set. So hopefully it works out. We'll see. <laughs> Alright, so that's one down. 
Um, we'll give it a we'll give it a test. Everything is good. It seems like it's gonna pop out. We're good on that. All right. So this one now, same thing. We're gonna push it down and in at the same time and let it click. So we're gonna go down, in. All set. That one gave me a little more uh, of a hard time, but we did it. So we'll give a little test here, we'll punch it, and that's it. You just save yourself a bunch of money for Mercedes. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.